Morning gentlemen and welcome to another video of mine. Um, apologies for the lack of videos last week. Um, wasn't feeling very well, had a bit of a cold, and man flu, all the horrible symptoms, and I didn't want to inflict them upon you. So I return today with something I've probably classified as my favourite soap. In fact, it is my favourite soap. Um, I'm surprised I haven't videoed it before, but there we go. Life gets in the way. Other things come first in terms of videos. And what is this you're wondering? Well, it is a Phoenix and Bow soap, naturally. And the soap is Citra Royale. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. It's a, a, a one absolutely wonderful soap. Um, when I first got the, the four initial launch scents, which was the Sanskrit Solaris, Unscented, and Citra Royale, instinct just from reading the scent profile said I'd, I'd, my favourite would have been Sanskrit however I thought I'm going to save that one and I went first with Citra Royale and it blew my mind um, it was fresh, invigorating and just a wonderful, wonderful scent and wonderful soap which we all know anyway <clears throat> so that's the story um, I'm almost to the bottom of the tub of this one I use it, use it a lot an awful lot um, and I did buy the second tab so I haven't run out. I've got another one sitting in the bedroom ready to go when this one pops. It uh, shuffles off the mortal coil, so to speak. Um, and when this goes, I buy another one because I don't want to be out at it. It's great. Um, yeah, so what to say? Well, the tools of the trade this week are going to be obviously Citra. It's going to be the Razor Rock Bazooka with a Gillette. 7 o'clock yellow sharp edge, um, it's about a week old now, still giving good shave, so no reason to throw it out. Um, I'm going to, I was in two minds, I was going to face leather, but I think I'm going to bowl leather because I want to. Uh, using my shaving room bowl, I've been face leathering all week, but it'll change. And of course, my trusty Cadman silver tip brush, 26mm, beautiful, beautiful L7 handle in, in a custom colour, uh, it's earth and gold, it, it's, it's just wonderful stuff. Anyway, so loading the soap couldn't be simpler. Brush, pot and load. I'll give a reasonable load because I love the lather on this and I want to make sure I've got a damn good amount of it because the smell, it's, it's, it's so, oh, I mean even now, oh wonderful stuff. Absolute sublime, um, fresh, sharp. It's, it's everything you want from citrus soap, and with the warmth of the cedar coming through as well. I mean, just a short load, and we've got absolutely stacks in the pot ready to transfer to the bowl. In fact, it's actually leaking out the edge. So, I'm getting a little bit excited with this one. It's been a few days since the last used Citra Royale. So, that in the bowl, return the lid to the pot and away we go. Now that's what we start with, a brush full of lather and extra into the bowl and we just, oh, I'm losing it all over the floor. But yeah so when I build a lather with a Phoenix and Bow soap I've got a bit of a knack going with the amount of water and I've just lost about a tablespoon of lather. Um, the gist is, give the brush a couple of good shakes out and all the residual water is generally enough for building the ladder. And I just swirl, start round and round and then side to side to beat it out of the brush and get the air out of the, any air out of the ladder. We won't have any problems with that today because they just lather fantastically every time. Now, it's been Pretty uh, interesting week. My car's been in the garage. Um, catalytic converter issues. I've had it a month. Um, it's new to me. It's not new. Anyway, the dealer's been looking after me. Um, apparently, the warranty company didn't want to cover the cats, but he's uh, forked out of his own pocket to sort that out. So, big props to him. Um, work has been absolute chaos, in the in the best possible way. In a way, um, it's busy. I hate sitting at work twiddling your thumbs doing nothing. 
um, even though it would give me time to uh, sit on shaving forums or create documentation. Um, no, I'm a kid. When will work, I have to work. There's no getting away from it. We are very busy. Um, here we go. We have a literal mountain of rich, thick. Oh, that scent. Wonderful stuff. So, I've already hot towel my face, chaps, in the usual manner. Just three or four minutes with the hot towel and uh, a bit of an exfoliate with it afterwards. Then we're going to lather. Mm. So it's such an invigorating scent. And when I get up at five o'clock in the morning on a weekday and I'm really not feeling it, this is the ideal, ideal scent because it just wakes you up. And look at the lather, it's lovely and dense, but not, not overly thick that it's just going to clog your razor. You can't build houses with it chaps, no. It's just a wonderful, wonderful lather. So there we go. Get the old Razor Rock Bazooka. It's a good little razor this, very heavy handle and I like it a lot. And we're just going to go for three pass shave in the usual fashion and see what we get. And as is typical with the Phoenix and Bow soap, there is stacks and stacks of glide. And I mean stacks. If you ever watched Torval and Dean back in the 80s, they had less glide than this. Wonderful stuff. Just letting the razor do the work, it's just the weight of the razor, no additional pressure. And with this being a very heavy handle. I mean that's, that's that's over half an inch thick um, of stainless steel. It adds a lot of heft to what is essentially like your Edwin Jagger type head, um, close bar, wonderful stuff. Just short strokes and do a wonderful job. There we go, first pass complete. Give it a wipe down. You see, the scent is just fantastic. I know I've waffled about it enough already, but oh, beautiful stuff. I've never had myself down as a citrus fan before trying this soap. In fact, I've never tried a citrus beforehand. Um, and I'm glad I did because this is just stunning. Um, now I have noticed chaps that the uh, white balance is a bit off on the video so I do apologise, it's a bit dark and autumn's coming around. So I'm just going to reach around the camera, turn the light on, hopefully, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to have to play with the settings a bit for the next video tomorrow. So another half past two, as you can see the stacks in the brush still. And there's still a bowl load as well. Beautiful stuff. See the scent is very, it's, it's almost bitter for the lime. Um, which for me is nice, I don't like overly sweet scents, I've tried a few from uh, some sort of US manufacturers that are overly sweet um, with their fruitiness. It doesn't work for me. I like, I like these like, like natural 
and, and that's what it is, it's a natural scent from Citroën. There's nothing artificial about it in, in terms of the aromas. It's just like getting a fresh lime, squeezing it in your hand after you've been sawing some wood. It's wonderful. So against the across the grain, sorry, as best we can go. Which from videos gone by, you'll know I have the weirdest growth patterns ever. Can't help it. So I am. Now this blade is now feeling perhaps past its best. So have to be a little bit careful. Which for the for the sharp edge, it's on what day seven or eight now, I forget exactly which. It's not bad going. And it's certainly no Astra, but they do give a lovely shave. And for me, they rank up there in terms of sharpness with the feathers, but extra, extra durability. You can get an extra couple of shaves out of these that you can't get with the feathers. And they like to the citra. There is wonderful amount of cushion as well. But it's not just blessed with. Incredible blood. The cushion levels are superb. You can use them with DE, single edge, open cone, straight razors, shavettes, and it's just wonderful. There's no, no real shortcomings in the performance at all. In fact, there are no shortcomings in the performance. It's just absolutely spot on every single time. Pass number two, and we'll go for the third and final pass, against the grain. We we'll still have absolute boatloads of wonderful leather in there, and still plenty in there for another pass as well. And there's probably got two or three passes in here. Because of the blade situation, I'm only going to do the three parts. I'm not going to go for touch up post video. But suffice to say, I'm loving the scent. It's wonderful stuff. Anyway, you've heard me say that a million times. I'm probably switched off before now anyway for that and that alone. But it truly is a fresh, invigorating scent first thing in the morning. I mean, it's knocking on for what, nine o'clock now anyway. On a Saturday morning. If you had a night out before, feeling a little bit worse for wear, this would lift them spirits right up. It's a very summery, wonderful scent. Do you ever have those moments where you sit and think to yourself, hmm, there's a lorry backing down the street and it's probably my delivery. So chaps, if I have to cut this short, because I've got to go get a new mattress out of that lorry. So, I bet people are bringing it today between 10 and 12. They may be early. If they do, I'll pop back post video. Sound like a lorry with a flatbed opening up. So, I'm 
Let's knock on the door. So chaps, I will see you shortly for the post review thoughts and what we think. Welcome back to post video review of Citra Royale. Uh, apologies there, I had to get the mattress in. Happens, deliveries come on a Saturday. Who'd have thought it? Anyway, Citra Royale. This is a wonderful soap. This is also my spare pot because the other one's in the bathroom now. Um, this is an untouched... Oh, wonderful stuff. An untouched four ounce pot of Citra Royale. Now that is... A stunning, stunning soap. Uh, in terms of performance, the glide is absolutely spot on. It's 10 out of 10 for that. Um, there's more glide than you could ever need. Um, cushion, absolute steps to that as well. Like I say, ample for any kind of razor for any level of aggression, right? From your sort of simple Edwin Jagger type heads, like you saw on my Razor Rock razor, right up to your slant bars, like your 39Cs. Um, it's wonderful on a mongoose. It's wonderful on a shavette. It's great all round. Uh, post shave. Now, this is where Phoenix and Bow soaps really come into their own for me. They are absolutely spot on post shave. Um, there's a lot of magical ingredients in here. Um, you've got, they're listed on here somewhere, bear with me. You've got lots of glycerin in there. You've got the unrefined shea butter. You've got tuss of silk. You've got allantoin. You've got vitamin E. It's loaded with fantastic stuff for your skin. And if you can't find a soap with a good post shave, you really need to try these out. Um, scent, we all know, I love. It's always oh, wonderful. It's limey, it's punchy, it's vibrant, it zings at you. You've got the cedar wood warming everything up and just sort of giving that sort of subtle kind of calming influence on the scent as well. Um, and the Litsea Kubeba, another kind of citrus type scent. It's wonderful, absolutely wonderful stuff. So, should you buy it? Absolutely. Um, that's why I've got a second pot. Well, this is my second pot. Um, I will be buying more. And Kerry, keep it up. These scents are fantastic. This was the first Phoenix and Bow soap outside of the unscented that I tried. And it won't be the last. Not at all. Um, there's going to be plenty more to come, I know. And I will have every single one. I was kind of miffed because I missed Star Noir on the release because um, working. It, it happens, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to have to hit up some of the resellers, like Shaving Station, uh, for some of that. But anyway, back to Citra Royale. This stuff is stunning. Genuinely stunning. Um, it will be the, the, the soap that I've said before is the, my Desert Island soap. It will come with me everywhere I go on holiday. It will come with me on travels, which it has done. It's simply sublime. Um, so, gentlemen, to save me waffling at you much longer, I'm going to go and process this video, get it uploaded, and uh, get on with my day of shopping. I might even just uh, buy another Phoenix and Bow soap or two. You never know. Um, I put an order in last night. I want, I want more. I want more. So, chaps, thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, please give it a subscription, uh, a subscription, a like, and if you really like the video, um, which I hope you do, um, I'll get a subscription as well. And let me know that you have, and I'll subscribe you back. So, chaps, this has been Citra Royale. I've been me again. Thanks for watching. Bye.